guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with the Hunter Classic. Now, it has been a while since we've played, honest to God. Uh, it's not been an issue, it's just been... Really, I was kind of waiting to be able to play with Delacaba, but Delacaba has been having all kinds of problems with his computer. In fact, he's been without one now for darn close to a month. So, I'm not so sure when we're going to get back to it, but I really need to put out an episode. It's been a while... And that's always a problem for me is what are we going to do? What are we going to hunt? Where am I going to go? Well, I've got an answer to that. And actually, I believe it was Delacaba brought that to my attention at one point. So let me go ahead and take you to this location here in a second. All right, guys, here we go. This is the Wheel of Names. Just about every species in the game is represented here. The only one it's not is the snow geese, and I probably can't go after that one anyway because I don't have the gear. It's too new. Now, there may be some others here I don't have the gear for, but I think I can pretty much go for everything here. This will at least let random choice pick something. There we go, bighorn sheep. Well, there's only one place those could be found, and that is in Colorado. So, I guess we're off to Colorado, guys. Here we are, guys. We are up in the mountains. I happened to have placed a tent up here a long time ago so that I could make this trek easily. Now, what I want you to see is where I'm located here. If you look at the map, you can see my little happy camper tent or whatever right here. It's not like I need to jump to spend a camping supply to go there. Usually where I go is to this other one where this tower is on this side. And that's if I'm hunting um, mule deer, white-tailed deer, grizzly bear, or whatever. But over, this time we're going to come over here and... We're going to see what we can do about getting one of these guys. Now, I'm going to have to change my gear, I think. I'm not sure what I'm still wearing here. Probably tropical. I think it was the last thing I was wearing in this game. Let me see here. No. I am wearing summer leaf camel. This is not going to work. All right, guys. We are going to change. Now, I'm going to be out in the field more so than the uh, up in the trees, so I'll probably be better with the meadow. So, sneaky, let's see here, fall camo, that's there. All right, I am geared up in my ghillie suit, and I tell you, that's about the only thing that really seems to hide me in this place altogether. My face doesn't seem to cover me until I get in the trees but I can live with that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get our ammunition all set up here this is the drilling gun that I have that shoots both um, buckshot and regular shot and I got birdshot in it right now I'm gonna go ahead and let's see is it switched no, it's a bird shot. Now, if we happen to see some ptarmigan, we will shoot them in the face. But otherwise, we're going to be using this to hunt the uh, bighorn sheep. Now, that is the nice thing about this, is that at this location, I can pass through this tunnel and end up on the other side of the mountain. And on the other side of the mountain, there's often bighorn sheep right there we'll see if we get lucky this time guys okay E and here we are be very very quiet be very very quiet okay now, there have been times when I have popped out like that and seen seen them just running across the railroad tracks 
Uh, of course, you know it wouldn't be that easy this time. <laughs> wouldn't you just know it? Alright, we're going to take a look around here, see if we can't find some tracks. It's actually looking very quiet. Uh, well, hmm. I'm not seeing much of anything here. Well, we may have to walk around to find them a little bit, guys. Beautiful day, nice and sunny. No rain. I don't know if that's going to be helpful or harmful. I'm going to check down in this little valley here on the side of the railroad tracks, because a lot of times they will go down in there and I guess they eat some of the grass or whatnot and then go up the hill. And then they tend to circle this entire mountain. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Alright guys, I just found some droppings and I'm hearing something. Never did see any tracks. There's no collar for these guys. You just kind of, you kind of have to find them. Maybe if I just hang out here real nice and quiet, he'll just wander on up. Where the heck is he? Wait a minute. Let me make sure that I sp make sure my spray is good. I'm afraid he's going to just end up walking right up and kiss me on the nose. <laughs> Sounds like it's coming from this direction. Spook them off, guys. Damn, they sound close. It's like I just can't see on the other side of those damn trees. drop off. No wonder I can't see. Where is he? I'm kind of hard to see. Thank God. It's like I hear them. Anticipation of it all. <laughs> There's a bunch of them around here, and I can't see a one. Oh, this is... And now the dogs are going to wrestle. Okay, there we go. There's a female. And she saw me. Shoot. <sighs> Dag nabbit. Well, it doesn't matter now. <laughs> the, 
That was a female anyway. I really don't want to go after a female. They don't get as much. But... That does give us a trail to follow. Now, this one ran this way. The other one ran the opposite way that I heard. And that may not have been a female. So what we'll do is we'll check over here. See if there are any tracks. Ah, oh, I hate when that happens. You sit there and you, you hang tight. And the bugger sees you. Okay. Okay, that's that female. Uh, I want to get the trail of the other one. So one went that way, and the one, the other one went the other way. I saw him run off this direction, but I couldn't tell if it was male or female. Well, they're definitely here. Without a doubt. Anyway, guys, I'll keep looking. Hopefully, I will pick up on this other one's trail. And it'll be a male. That'd be a bit sub more substantial of a trophy if we get him. First of all, i got to find it. Anyway, guys, I'll bring it back in a little bit. Maybe not. Sounds like I have got me a friend. May have found him. I heard him. Okay, I'm not seeing any movement again. Okay, we got a track here, finally. I've got the sound turned up way high, so I can hear things moving about. close. Man, I can't see them. It's like they just blend right in. see something. No. Darn. Okay, there's another trail. Track. It's a female. Where is she? Well, there she is. Well, I hit her. That was kind of an awkward angle, though. <laughs> Don't think I made that. I'm not sure I hit her or not. Yeah, I hit her. Wasn't sure if I did. Well, did I hit her? Is God bless it. I hate when it does that. I don't want to start tromping on through the grass. Okay, this is where it gets a little ugly. There's a lot of growth, and 
it's a body hit, so she could go for a ways. The only thing is, it is a crossbow bolt. They do bleed a lot. Then with a gun. I am not seeing any tracks, which is usually an issue. Okay, here we go. We got more tracks here. Not the right one, but they are tracks. Let's see. Is this our girl? I can't tell. <sighs> yep, it's her. See, that's the problem. This is such a crazy overbrush. Sorry about the dog. He's decided that now the squeaky toy is what he wants to play with. <laughs> okay, we're going to keep looking, keep looking. There it is. And she's bleeding again. And she's close. She might actually be down now. Okay, there's the next one. That might be her, guys. No? That's not, but the next one might be. Yeah, see, when they have that second bleed, it's usually pretty much over. She's a... Oh. There she is. I gotta hang it to her. She is hanging in there, isn't she? She is hanging in there. Ooh, and she may be hanging in there well enough to where I can't get to her. <laughs> oh no. That is not good. Okay, I gotta try to walk at a diagonal. If I can get to the grass up here, I probably make the rest of this peak. Alright, now we can come down here and try to pick up our track again. That's not her. I'm amazed she was able to climb that with a bolt in her. There she is. That was like her last hurrah, guys. Yeah, it looks like I hit her in a butt or something. <laughs> That's hard to tell. 44. Yeah, they're not going to be that much, guys, unfortunately. 44 for a female. That's about... Whoa, there she goes. That was always an issue. Picking her up for posing is going to be a little bit on the tough side. So I'm going to try to bring myself down here. And we're just going to have to get the best we can get. There we go. Actually, that's... Mm, Go from this angle. If it wasn't for that damn branch, it wouldn't have been bad. Well, we're going to have to deal with what we got. And we'll sell her. She, she got a little bit of cash. Not too much, but a little bit. Ah... <sighs> Well, I was hoping for a big horned male. Doesn't mean we're out of this yet, because there's still plenty of tracks over here. Gosh, I don't know what's wrong with my dog. <laughs> he 
just acting completely ridiculous. Another female, for some reason, she has not seen me. I mean, I'm surprised she didn't go down. Lungs, heart, that's a good shot. Tough little old, old gal, I'll tell ya. I guess they gotta be tough. But yeah, lungs, heart, and she takes off. <laughs> shouldn't get over a real sheer cliff because that's going to be uh, seriously problematic. I didn't lose the trail here. Whoa. Oh, good gosh. That's her down there. <laughs> I think she fell off. I do believe she did. Uh, yep. She fell down the mountain. Whoa. Ah! Boom. Daggun it. Well, that, was, that happens sometimes. That's why we have first aid kits. <laughs> okay. E to heal myself. Mm. Well, she came down here for sure. I thought I saw her body as I was falling down the mountain. Okay, there she is. Not the most accessible place here, guys. That's what's called falling for your passions. 37 on her. <laughs> Fell all the way down. Well, that happens. At least we got her. At least we got her. Yeah, it was a pretty good shot. I was just amazed that she made it as far as she did. I'll accept that. We'll get a little bit of GMS for her. Not much. Haven't had to use my gun. That's a good thing. Okay, let's see if we can't get down here without doing too much damage to ourselves. I think we're alright. Yeah, we're alright. Well, they seem to be coming back over this way, so I was right to have started here. Looks like I got there just a little early. Here's another track. Tell you what I'm gonna do, guys. 
since I don't see any in my direct line of sight, I might come over here where I can see the side of the mountain and see if there's any, you know, just kind of trekking on up it. You never know. So that, I've actually seen that happen before. So let me get out my... I want to call it a Viewmaster. <laughs> let me get my scope here. Uh, nothing there. Just some rocks shaped an awful lot like a goat or a bighorn sheep. I will say one thing. They do blend in very, very well. Surprised I don't see any. Nope. There's there are none over there. Let's see that down there. Aha. There we go. That's what we're after right there, guys. That's our quarry. If I see him again, I am going to blast him with the gun because I'm not letting him get away. These little bitty females. He was down here. Oh boy. I gotta figure a way to get down there without killing myself. <laughs> And scaring him off. Uh, just need to be able to find his tracks. If he hadn't been walking away, I could have shot him then. Okay, what's that right there? worth at least looking see if I can't find any track he was in this general vicinity <coughs> if I run into some ptarmigan I might try to take them down too because honestly I don't think I've gotten too many of them Keep looking. Oh, come on, give me a track, man. Ah, I'm stuck. Hmm. Yeah, we're starting to get into the lowlands here. There's a trail right there. Now we can run into grizzly bears now. Well, I'm going to go back around here. Look up the face of the mountain here. Because he may have turned around. Because I don't see him going into the valley.
Well, we may have to keep looking. I will bring you back if I find anything. There he is, guys. He's further down in the valley than I thought he would be. Okay, we are going to go down low here because we are going to need to go hot. And he's down. I didn't think he would go that far into the valley. That is really surprising. He didn't leave one track. I just happened to see him move. I guess we're still pretty far up. Just still. We're low enough to where we gotta watch out for bears. I hope that tree doesn't... No, I think it won't. Daggone, now that's a nice big horn. Look at those horns. Jeez, those are really curled. Long, perfect shot. 162. I don't know what that if that's good or not, honestly. Sounds good. 162. Well, let's go ahead and get a trophy shot of him. I might go ahead and taxidermy him. I think it's probably pretty good. I don't know. But first of all, let me get myself out of the tree there. At least now we're not on a hill. Which is what we were before, and that was kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, let's pull him up over here. That is a nice specimen. Now that's better. Yeah, that's a good shot. I am going to taxidermy him. Alright, well we got our bighorn. We got a couple of females and a nice looking male. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of the Hunter Classic. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.